that's that's what you have learned from male body to the female body this transfer may require external agents so there can be living agents or the non-living agents like insects or wind now when insects and wind are supposed to be transporting the pollen grains they may have to travel hundreds of kilometers or they may have to travel thousands of kilometers during that course pollen grains are exposed to continuous UV radiation. So when UV radiation fall on these structures, they can cause damage to the genetic material. That's why pollen grains which are carried are always covered with a layer of carotenoid. Remember in the last class and today's, in today's revision also I told you carotenoids. So carotenoids provide protection against the UV radiation. And in the same manner, those seeds which, uh, though many seeds uh, which carry the embryo inside them, because uh, pollen grains are crucial for the reproduction because they carry male gamete and uh, the seed is crucial because they carry embryo the next generation inside it so even there are some plants in which seeds also carry good amount of fat like the cereals and all maximum cereals or grasses or poesy family member they all carry good amount of fat inside or oil inside which provides the embryo protection against the uv radiation Another important function of the lipids is that they are edible. There are many uh, plants which provide us edible oil, edible fats like for example you know the example of mustard oil, coconut oil, sunflower oil, sesame oil. There are many plants even the grasses also that means cereal oil. So rice bran oil is there. So there are many plants which provide us uh, edible fats or edible uh, oils and they are good and nutritious for us and we already know that all uh, there are some fatty acids which are uh, essential fatty acids so you have to consume it otherwise your body will not be able to prepare them and then there will be deficiency problems in your body the one we talked about in the uh, revision class also now the next function of the lipids is lipogenesis and lipolysis now what is lipogenesis formation of lipids is called as lipogenesis now why why is should it be called as a function of lipids so try to understand whenever human body consumes extra carbohydrate your sugar level is going to increase now we all know insulin plays an important role but sidewise there can be another thing all that extra like because insulin has come into picture it is going to send a signal and now what will happen insulin is going to cause the liver to start uh, accumulating all that extra sugar as lipids inside it. So extra glucose or extra carbohydrate change into glycogen or change into lipids and they are stored inside the liver. So lipogenesis is essential otherwise harmful effect of increased sugar would be there on the human body. So lipogenesis help us to save those extra carbohydrates in the form of lipids and use them whenever there is requirement and that is called as the lipolysis. Now what is lipolysis? Okay, lipo means lipid here, genesis means formation, lipolysis lysis means breakdown. Now whenever human body does not consume food like for example uh, fasting is going on. So when fasting is going on you know you don't consume much food so extra fat in your body would be now changing because glucose level is going down so now glucagon hormone will start playing which comes from the pancreas just like insulin and now glucagon will cause the liver to start releasing that stored lipids to convert them into the carbohydrate and now your sugar level will be maintained to normal so that you can survive so lipogenesis and lipolysis are two important important functions which are very much important for survival of the human body now the next function is survival. So now we all know there are organisms. See human body is able to cope up because we have become intelligent. We are homo sapiens. Homo means man. Sapiens means wise. So because we are wise we are able to we have developed other methods of survival. But there are animals which hibernate, estivate and migrate. You know these concepts very well. Hibernation is the winter sleep. Estivation is a summer sleep and migration means when birds migrate from one place to other place because conditions in their natural place is unfavorable. So whenever conditions are unfavorable, organisms or animals migrate. So migration is a, is a long process of hundreds of kilometers. 
hibernation is a sleep of without food continuous for 3 3 4 4 months estivation in the same manner is a sleep during this in the summer so how animal survive in that uh, estivation or hibernation or migration is by depositing extra food in the form of fat so fat help them to survive or pass the unfavorable condition the next function of the fat is to provide us energy now when you compare per gram of the carbohydrate carbohydrate once completely burned by aerobic respiration give us 4.5 kilo calories of energy per gram of carbohydrate but in comparison to that fats give us more amount of energy 9.3 kilo, kilo kilo calories per gram of the fats so fat gives us more energy when compared to the carbohydrates next is the storage of the food so all extra food can be stored in the form of fat i just told you and can be utilized whenever required